today we will see some examples related to factors of the form x plus a into bracket x plus b. Area of rectangle has algebraic expression. Find the expression for the length and the breadth of this rectangle. We know that the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. Here, the area of rectangle is given in the form of algebraic expression x square minus 12x plus 32. If we factorize it, we will get an expression for length and breadth of rectangle. So, let's get started. Here, we will use this identity. We will divide the middle term, that is, the coefficient of x into two numbers a and b in such a way that ab is equal to 32 and a plus b is equal to minus 12. Since minus 8 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to 32 and minus 8 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 12, we will choose minus 8 and minus 4. Now, the middle term minus 12x of this expression can be written as which can also be written like this. Now, we will take x common from these two terms and minus 4 common from these two terms. Now, we will take x minus 8 in common from both these terms so that we get the factorization of given expression as x minus 8 into bracket x minus 4. We know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Therefore, we can say that the length of rectangle is x minus 8 and breadth is x minus 4 or the length of rectangle is x minus 4 and breadth is x minus 8. Now, let us understand an interesting thing related to factorization of algebraic expression with an example. A teacher asks students to factorize the given expression. Tina and Sachin solved it with two different methods. Tina simplified it by splitting the middle term, that is, she used this identity. She had find two numbers, a and b, to split the middle term minus 12x in such a way that ab is equal to 36 and a plus b is equal to minus 12. Since minus 6 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to 36 and minus 6 plus minus 6 is equal to minus 12, so she chose minus 6 and minus 6. She expressed the middle term minus 12x of this expression as she simplified it in this way. She took x from these two terms minus 6 from these two terms as a common factor. Then from these two terms she took x minus 6 as the common factor. Thus she obtained the factorization of the given expression as x minus 6 into bracket x minus 6 which we can also express as x minus 6 bracket square. Instead of solving like Tina, Sachin used identity to factorize the given expression. In this expression, the first term x square and the third term 36 are both perfect squares. Sachin wrote the second term minus 12x as minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 6 and wrote the given expression like this. The expression corresponds to right side of this identity where a is equal to x, b is equal to 6 and minus 2ab is equal to minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 6 that is minus 12x. Therefore, we can write the factorization of this expression as x minus 6 bracket square similar to the left side of the identity. Thus, both have obtained correct answer. In this way, we have seen that the factorization of given expression can be done by using standard identity as well as by dividing the middle term, that is, using the standard identity. Generally, the expressions that corresponds to right side of these identities can also be factorized by the middle term splitting. 
so today we have seen some examples related to factors of the form x plus a into bracket x plus b in the next video we will see some simple mistakes related to them